Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? And the rest of you filthy animals. What's up? Hey, welcome back to the bench. Hey, Builder. Tried to get a hold of you, man. Some dude named Mark or Mike or something like that answered the phone. Waited a day. It's like, look, man. You know, what the? You know what I mean? What the? Got it? So anyways, hey, uh, Robbie. I'm going to look around and see if I can't find another set of lids for this. <laughs> yeah, this goofy ass shit, right? Uh, anyways. I want you guys to pay attention. This is not a bash, bash fest by no means. I'm hoping it'll be educational for everyone. As most know that this is not no junk sitting here. By no means. We're going to take some readings. Okay? I might be more explicit than some people understand. And some people might say I'm not explicit enough. That's okay. This, my 5600 or whatever it is, subscribers, hey man, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. I try to use a vernacular that covers everything for this, these people that are in here. <laughs> so anyways, uh, Robbie, radio's cool, man. It'll be fine. It's going to run by itself. You can see what's connected to the back, how it's connected. I'm not going to talk a lot about the radio. But here it is. Okay. Okay. Wide open. Let me, let me see if this one will fit in here halfway decent. Yeah, it will. Alright, for some of you guys that don't know what Graticule are, uh, I'm going to put a link or an end screen video to this about AC volts to watts. Okay? An oscilloscope, I, I explain a lot more about oscilloscopes. If you need to learn more, then start studying, you know? But there are eight grads. There are five graticule. So I can figure eight times five times two and a half. Guess what you got? Yeah. Well, you go both ways to positive negative peak ratio to achieve 100%. 100% is too much, but you can count the ratio and or the volts, you know, up and down. Study more or just pay attention. Okay. So there's, okay, 25, 50, 75, or two and a half, 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 two and a half. I can't see the camera. All this shit is behind my head. All right. Two and a half, 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 two and a half. All right. There's your four to one. It's a little overboard, yes. Not much. The reason it looks like it's off on the top is because of the angle of the camera. Alright, I'm not going to be jacking this thing down to try to get it in there. Alright, you got that? That's exactly the same as this at five. Which the other way is a lot more accurate. This is just harder to see. It's the same thing, providing you have a decent scope. Alright? So let's get on out of here. And let's try to get you in here some a little bit better. Uh, looks like a good plain view right there. I still got to do some work on this thing. Anyways, there we go. Okay. Let's look at it like this. It's going to kick some ass, Robbie. Crystal clear. I have it uh, cut off at 4500 at 50% modulation. Good frequency response. Use the SRE198. It's going to be a core radio. And let's see, that was 1 kilohertz. Let's go to 30 kilohertz. Let's just go to 1 megahertz. We see it. 
there, 1 megahertz span. Let's go to 30 megahertz. We'll look for any unwanted anything. Let's go to 300. And it's got max mod too. You'll see the first at 54. It's way on down there. Way on down, okay? Now we have to turn this way down, the radio, to put it into the amp, especially with the driver, etc. So things are going to change a little bit. The ratio ain't going to be perfect. I don't have this radio set up exactly for that. I hate when that thing leans like that. It'll all be in plain sight. So let's turn the power down. It's down. It's wide open. You see my hand there? That's it. So we know that there's not too many unwanted products going on. It's very, 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 very clean. Thirty kilohertz. Thirty. Not bad. I know you're getting bored, right? Hold on a second. By the way, I ain't here looking to make more enemies, but you wanna have you wanna be an enemy, just jump on the boat. I don't really give two shits. You know, for what's gonna be shown here, etc. I don't see nobody else got the set of balls to do it, or the equipment or knowledge. And uh, these drivers can't be putting this shit in their truck. Especially a Mac and certain other vehicles. And they're going in and out of scales, you know, overhangs and, you know, rough ass roads. It doesn't matter what the flipping antenna says sitting still, just like how many thousands have already told, you know, you do this shit, you do it while you're rolling down the road with your analyzer. You know, check your antennas and that thing's whipping in the wind all over the damn place. Going to self oscillation, unkey the mic, and you're foobard, man. Hold on. Builder, you might really, you might like this builder, okay? So, I'm not, I'm not jacking on nobody. I'm hoping that you're going to see this. I'm going to zoom in, all right? Hold on. It's already seven minutes. Okay. Okay, so we've seen what that does. Back it up, go forward, twist down, give two shits. Alright, so we got a half wavelength sitting here. Right there. Yeah, I got a mess right down in there. There it is. Okay. So we're just gonna connect this to this. You like my bald head back there, do you? Cool. <laughs> All right, so now all we're gonna do is key this. But uh, I don't know if you can see in the camera. Okay, we see the watts, we see everything. Let's get off the meter. Let's just try to get focused in here now. Let's see if I can't get this right. Zoom out a bit. Zoom in a little bit more. I see Casper. Okay. Let's bring it down some more. Yeah, somewhere in this neck of the woods. I'm going to have to change the power on the radio. I'm just turning the variable power on the radio to match this to the amp with the driver on and off. All right. Now, if you look at the scope, you can see that there's something in that waveform going on. See it? See it? It's a 400, it's a, well, up to 500 megahertz scope, all right? So look. Turn my head and do all this shit. Uh, 
we'll see what's going on. Get back out a little bit again. I'll make more sense here in a second. See all the distortion. Now let's go to 30 megahertz span. Now let's go to 300. The only thing that was done, okay, is connected to the amp. That's it. So we've got some kind of straight capacitance, and something going on. Alright. So let's back out so you can see everything that I'm doing. That's probably going to spin on us. Okay. I'm turn this on. I'm turn the power all the way down. The driver's off. We need more power to key it. We gotta get this 100 out of there. Get the 1K in. And we're on the load, not even the antenna. We're not gonna run this no more than 100. Yeah, I see, like, Casper the Friendly Ghost all over the place. And uh, it, it looks like Unity again. But there again, you can see what happens with the Class C. I'm not picking on the Class C part. That's a Class C. See what's going on? Well, look at this shit. Right? It's, it's not good. Let me flip to the antenna. Okay, see that now? Let me zoom in. See it? Back on out of here again. Not good. Okay, back to the load. I'll modulate to that point. I'll turn the power down a little bit. Let you see it. Turn the power back up. Let's see, that was 100 to 4. We'll go back to 100 watts. Modulate it to that point. Give it some carrier. Notice how the carrier, the, the negative peak ratio drastically changes with carrier power. It's a class C. But there's a bunch of unwanted products. Oh, you can see. Let's go back down to, say, 110. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wicked. I'll go to the antenna. Alright, see it? Now, here, let me go to my little ranger. It's gonna squeal this close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, one, two. See, it actually sounds okay. One, two, three, four, five. But, look at the splatter. Up close, it's fine. But, you know, you do one of these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you know, we're doing 7, 8, 9, 10, but we're just bleeding over real bad. Alright, so there we go. Now we're going to, oh, let's go to 1 kilohertz. It's not bad, is it? Not bad till you start pushing it and also back on the road it doesn't look bad does it at one kilohertz let's go to 30 megahertz we got some weird spike it's not all true that's not good but go to the antenna not good at all back to 300 it's gonna light the truck up, man. So a lot of trucks ain't a big piece of steel anymore. And there's God, I, I've been out of trucks for a long time. There weren't many computers besides what was it, a Qualcomm? When I got out of a truck, I remember turning screws to turn to keep the pump on. <laughs> and buttons and stingers and weights and you know all that kind of neat stuff. They're they're computerized now and. 
shielding, etc., and all the communication. There's probably a commuter, a computer, one main computer plus a computer for the transmission. God only knows how many in the engine, the injectors. I, I don't have a clue how many computers in a big truck anymore. But this will light them up. Now, my antenna is pretty decent. I gotta put that video up too. It's decent. It's not whipping in the wind, okay? There's not a piece of steel real close by, you know, in the near field capacitance, making it appear to be short with the metal object near it. Making it extremely unstable. We need to make these things stable, okay? Now let's flip that on. We'll just flip the driver on. Okay, the light doesn't work, the LED. Probably because of the RF. I'm going to start from the bottom here so it doesn't get keyed too hard. I'm going to wind it back up to 100 and it's jumpy as hell. Which I, I told Robbie that it was better with the driver on. But it is so touchy, it's ridiculous, you know. But then again, see the pet negative peak ratio of it? You know, let's go like this. Some of you guys just ain't used to looking at it the way I do it. And I don't go over a 4 to 1 at the final product, at the final output at the back of the amplifier. I don't go over a 4 to 1. There's never a need for it. So there you go. You know, shut that off. Okay, see all the distortion in there? I don't see reflect, but... So let's go back to putting this back on. See the harmonics? That's bad. In the actual waveform, you know, maybe at 30 or... 50 60 megahertz scope you'd be thinking oh that's that's good that's good it's not good look I'm not trying to make enemies by no means I did try to call you got no phone call back and I've tried to call a lot of people in the last decades literally I tried to keep track of everybody matter of fact throughout the years I know some people pick on my friend Scott he said he's Stopped at over 250 CB shops. I can't say I doubled that. But over 250. I stopped at every single one of them. And I think that's where a lot of people get this idea. You know, they get to know me and I'll explain what I used to do of every single, single CB shop in this country that you get to off the interstate. And I go in, check them out, and investigate. Well, Scott's one of them too. <laughs> Anyways. I hope some of this was educational. You, you're seeing what happens with the uh, the tune just going through the relay. You know, straight capacitance, it doesn't look like there's any SWR or uh, any other issues on the input tune, but there's, there's something going on, and it's causing all that distortion all the way through. I've never been a fan of HGs. I have yet, guys. Not flipping yet have I seen one decent HG. I got a video way down way down my YouTube line somewhere. I should probably turn it on. I got it shut off. The guy kind of pissed me off in the past. It was BMT. He actually did a good job with DEIs. He used DEIs on a four pill. Biased. It was decent. Now you might run something like this. In your house, you know, put a low pass filter on it. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Hold on, let me shut that driver off. I don't want to have any problems. Turn this back down. Turn this up a little bit. It's about 100. Okay, see what we got going on there? I'm just going to unkey it. All right, you seen everything where it was. Now let's take this off and that. And, uh, Put this on. You see that? I'm sitting here thinking. I'm, I'm dead serious. I haven't seen an eight, and I'm not picking on nobody. I'm just shooting this shit straight. 
I really want to use my typical everyday vocabulary, but I'm refrain, refraining from that, okay? Not one. All right, so now we got this little piece in here. Let's just key it now. Everything's different, okay? So let me turn this down a little bit. <laughs> Wicked. Turn the power down. Power up. It just went into self oscillation. Did you see that? That's some bad shit right there. And again, shit toast on my bench, it's on you. I mean, that's how easy shit happens. So if you don't want that to happen, don't send me your shit. So whatever that was, 20 minutes, something like that. So I'm in 21 minutes and 26 seconds right now. So back it up and check it out. All it would take is a couple seconds of forgetting that that happened. And this thing would just start puffing smoke. Hope this was educational. You hate my flipping guts? Click subscribe. Click dislike. Click like. I mean, when you got, I don't know, you know where I'm getting with this. So y'all be cool. Stay tuned in. Hard drive 163 at Tiny Mud Duck Station by the Rio Grande. I'm out of here.